Immersion in cold water is a danger for anyone working on or near the water. Cold water immersion is a life-threatening situation and your survival time depends on the clothing you wear. Cold, shock, hypothermia, loss of dexterity, reduced mental sharpness and drowning are your primary concerns. Without adequate buoyancy and insulation, you cannot rely on swimming ability and endurance for survival. Many strong swimmers drown within yards of safety in cold water after the rapid shock of immersion into cold water, causing immediate hyperventilation, water ingestion, and often heart failure in waters below 15 degrees Celsius. Remaining in cold water causes hypothermia, a condition in which your body loses heat faster than it can replace it. As water conducts heat away from your body 25 times faster than air, the situation is aggravated. As the effect of cold increases, muscles weaken and stiffen, coordination is reduced, numbness increases, and decision-making and thinking processes slow down. All this drastically reduces the length of time a person can survive in cold water. To lessen the shock of entry into cold water and to give you as much protection as possible against hypothermia and drowning, Mustang Survival has developed the Flight Commander Duel. This video will walk you through both the immersion and helicopter transport suit configurations of the Flight Commander Duel. Mustang Survival engineers redesigned the Flight Commander from the ground up, greatly increased buoyancy, durability and thermal protection resulted in a uniquely Canadian solution to a uniquely Canadian environmental challenge. All suits are tested to ensure the highest level of reliability and performance. Mustang Survival offers superior quality under rigid ISO 9001 standards. This video will help in teaching you not only the various safety and comfort features of the Flight Commander Duel, but more importantly, how to effectively and easily don, adjust and rely on this suit to maximize its effectiveness. The Flight Commander Duel protects from the cold water using, in conjunction with the garments worn under the suit, closed cell foam as an insulation layer. The airsoft foam also provides the suit's buoyancy. Setting a new standard for protection and durability, the new suit system offers 40% greater thermal protection. Water ingress through the face and neck seal have been eliminated. Durability has been increased more than doubling the shell's seam strength. New levels of comfort and performance have been achieved through the use of durable, lightweight materials combined with a new concept in dry suit protection. The design of the Flight Commander Duel is more streamlined, reducing snag hazards. Traditional one-size-fits-all wrist seals have been replaced with sized wrist seals, resulting in a dramatic improvement in water tightness across the entire range of sizes. The suit has an outer shell made of watertight fabric with neoprene wrist seals and a waterproof main entry zipper. The suit is intended to keep the wearer drier in the event of immersion. The bright yellow outer shell and Solas approved high visibility reflective tape provide great visibility for rescuers. Inside the suit is a removable thermal liner providing buoyancy and hypothermia protection. The suit also features insulated CSA-approved steel toe non-skid boots for use in an industrial environment. The new boot offers three times the thermal protection of the previous boot. The safety whistle and IMO sea light found on the chest may be used in emergency egress situations. The main component parts of the system and their location are as follows. The top of the suit starts with the integrated neoprene hood which protects against water and wind exposure. The buddy line keeps survivors together in the water. Down the front center of the suit is the entry zipper. This waterproof zipper is sealed to the suit. A lanyard with toggle is attached to the zipper to aid in opening and closing the zipper. Both arms have neoprene wrist seals. Inflatable survival mittens are stored in pockets on both sleeves. The Flight Commander Duel is a system that can be configured to meet either immersion or helicopter transport requirements. The MD-1128A-2 inflatable PFD is an integral part of the Flight Commander Duel. It's suitable for egress from an inverted helicopter as it does not exceed 39 pounds of buoyancy. Worn over the suit, it has all of the same durability improvements as the immersion suit as well as significantly improved buoyancy and freeboard. 
When inflated, the cell supports the head and keeps the upper torso out of the water, enhancing protection against hypothermia and lessens the negative effect on core temperature. The Flight Commander Dual is designed with an emergency breathing device and personal locator beacon. The sea light is located on the inflatable PFD. The spray hood, which is donned after water entry, provides additional protection from harsh marine environments. Three exhaust valves vent excess air during egress. The quick release rods may be pulled to escape if the PFD is inflated accidentally while submerged in the helicopter. The Flight Commander Dual in the immersion suit configuration may be donned quickly and easily without assistance. Remove the suit from the storage bag. Check to ensure the inner liner is fastened to the suit. Ensure the entry zipper is fully open and working. Visually inspect the suit for any noticeable tears, cuts or possible problems. Report any problems to support personnel for possible repair. Place the suit face up on a large flat surface, making sure the legs and arms are not tangled or twisted. Remove any footwear, rings, watches, earrings, necklaces or eyeglasses that may cause damage to the neck and wrist seals. Loose pants may be tucked into socks to aid in donning the suit. Don the suit as you would a pair of coveralls, placing your legs into the suit and pull up. Use the boot's pull tabs to assist donning. Put arms in and push hands through the seals. Carefully pull the waterproof entry zipper up, making sure no clothing snags in the zipper. Zip up to the next seal to keep water penetration to a minimum. Warning! Failure to completely close the waterproof entry zipper will result in leakage of water inside the suit and reduction of the in-water survival time. Ensure the hood is donned. The integral neoprene thermal hood protects against water and wind exposure. In the event of an emergency, fasten the neoprene face shield. Tighten the wrist seals on the forearms just above the wrist to the point of discomfort to ensure the water tightness of the seal. Pull the survival mitts from their pouches, dawn, fasten, and then inflate them. You are now ready for water entry. The Flight Commander Dual in the helicopter transport suit configuration may be donned quickly and easily without assistance. Place the suit face up on a large flat surface, making sure the legs and arms are not tangled or twisted. Check to ensure the inner liner is fastened to the suit. Ensure the entry zipper is fully open and working. Visually inspect the suit for any noticeable tears, cuts or possible problems. Report any problems to support personnel for possible repair. Remove any footwear, rings, watches, earrings, necklaces or eyeglasses that may cause damage to the neck and wrist seals. Loose pants may be tucked into socks to aid in donning the suit. Don the suit as you would a pair of coveralls, placing your legs into the suit and pull up. Use the boots pull tabs to assist donning. Put arms in and push hands through the seals. Don the hood. The integral neoprene thermal hood protects against water and wind exposure. Carefully pull the waterproof entry zipper up, making sure no clothing snags in the zipper. Zip up to the next seal to keep water penetration to a minimum. In the event of an emergency, fasten the neoprene face shield. Fasten the inflatable cells from buckles. Tighten the wrist seals on the forearms just above the wrist to the point of discomfort to ensure the water tightness of the seal. Warning! Failure to completely close the waterproof entry zipper will result in leakage of water inside the suit and reduction of in-water survival time. Pull the survival mitts from their pouches, don, fasten and then inflate them. You are now ready for helicopter transport or water entry. The attached inflatable life preserver may be inflated once you are in the water, clear of the helicopter. To inflate the life preserver, grasp the two beaded handles at the front center of the vest and pull down and away from your body. The vest will fully inflate in less than five seconds. Should the vest fail to inflate properly or completely, the life preserver may be inflated by mouth through the inflation tubes located on the front right cover. If inflated accidentally while submerged in the helicopter, pull the quick release rods to escape. 
We hope you find the Mustang Survival Flight Commander Duel a comfortable and easy to wear survival suit and wish that you may never have to experience its life-saving features.